the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. Lace and they have light brown in parentheses. 
And uh, lately, you know, th these light browns are looking pretty good, honey, if I do say so myself. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. But I feel like the light brown lace is coming through with the come through. I mean, it's transparent, but it has a light brown, what's the name? But it, and it, a light brown tint to it, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's also, um, the knots did come pre-bleach. The hairline did come pre-tweeze. All I did with this unit was put old girl on my face head honey okay and i was gonna try to wear it glueless but i'm still getting the sides sticking up so i did i i, I just laid her on down technically it's still glueless because she ain't got on no glue i just got on spray but you know what i mean you know you know what i'm saying honey okay so um but i do feel like if you know how to like if and especially if your ears aren't as large as mine like y'all i keep telling y'all i have very large ears like Y'all can't even see them. That's how big they are. Like, there are some big ELs. Like, honey. So, I feel like maybe if your ears are smaller or you just know how to finesse that where it lays down right, uh, you could definitely wear this unit glueless. Honestly, I could have got away with just uh, laying down the sides. Just spraying that the sides down. But, alas, I did not. So, yeah. Those are, like, the details and space with this wig. Now, as far as shedding and tangling, honestly... I didn't get any other things like straight out of the packaging. Like once I uh, layered it some because I did decide to just kind of layer the front. Once I did that and um, I was getting some shedding, but I knew it was just because the shears that I got, honey, they mess, they garbage. So I knew it was just from me cutting it because prior to that, I did not have any shedding whatsoever and there's definitely no tangling. So those are all the details and specs about this wig. Now, if you're interested in my pros and cons as well as the full 360, then please continue to watch. Okay, y'all. So we're going to start with the cons because I like to end on a high note. My con with this unit is the same cons that I have from all the units, like from this company is, well, not all the units, but all the ones that are made like this where you have a lot, as you can see, a lot of parting space in the front area, but on the sides, there is not as much. So you can still do a side part, but you can't do a really deep side part. You know what I mean? So like over here, you can still part all the way over here if you wanted to. And you can still do a half up, half down style if you wanted to, but you don't have as much space on the sides as you do in the top. So that if I have to throw a con out there, okay? Because I got to give you guys a con. Everything has a con, honey. So, if I had to throw one out there, that would be my gun. Now, my pros is this unit is extremely beginner friendly. Extremely. You don't have to tweeze it. You don't have to, um, uh, you don't have to tweeze it. You don't have to bleach it. All you have to do is put old girl on your head. Cut the lace and put old girl on your head. Like, that's it. That's all. Okay? And lay her down. And some of y'all probably wouldn't even have to do that. Okay? So, it is extremely beginner friendly. The color is everything, honey. Okay, the color is everything, and I also love the texture of this unit. So, those are all my pros with this unit, like, and I probably could find some more. Like, I also like how the lace just kind of lays, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like that, too. You know what I'm saying? So, those are my pros with this wig. Yes, I would recommend this wig because... Uh, for two main reasons, it's beginner friendly and it's lazy girl friendly. Okay, I would recommend this unit just for just off that, sis. Okay, because I'm lazy girl. I may not be a beginner, but your girl is lazy. And a lot of people that are watching wig reviews are, you know, looking for beginner friendly units or units they don't have to do a whole lot to. Okay, you're not trying to go to the doggone beauty shop and get your hair done. Okay, you're just not trying to do it. You just spent such and such dollars on your wig, and you gotta spend such and such more dollars getting it done. But if you can get a beginner friendly wig, honey, you ain't gotta do none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, that is why I would recommend this wig. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this 4360 and lint check so we can wrap this thing all the way up. So, this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back.
And if you're not gonna follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm Health Missy on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love folks, next time.